Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to merge two columns which is having two different data types of data. So right now I am going to show you one example of where the data source is in Excel. So I have loaded the data. So here the, the table is called dim data. Now to transform to do any changes to the, uh, the source data we need to transform that for this page we need to click here transform data click on transform data so a separate window will get generated okay uh, will get up here so now we have different types okay uh, come to dim data okay so here uh i'm removing all this uh i don't to the existing source i don't want that, that columns and everything so here i am having year and month name my requirement is called to merge these two columns okay this is the year and this is month name so select uh, press control button and select these two what are the columns that you need to merge so if you right click on that here we have a call an option called merge columns click on this click on this and use separator or whatever if you call them semicolon or otherwise uh, right now i want to divide with underscore so new column called year underscore month press ok see it will got the data so why this is i want to january 2018 january right so remove this so press this one then run one now we need to merge custom underscore year come on month okay see yeah 2008 january okay so here what happened that month name column have month name and year column has got a uh, removed and the news column was which is year underscore month was gen added so i don't want to do this why because that that existing column should be also there so for that we have uh two ways to achieve this so i am discarding these changes click on this so now see the year and month name got back so to avoid this i am right click on this uh, so select the year type duplicate okay come back uh, to the month name uh, can click duplicate so now i have two here uh, two columns right select these two type here uh, first we need to whatever column that you need first for example i want year so that's the reason I, you need to select this first one after that i need month name select this one now right click on this and click merge now select whatever the tab or whatever and now i am going to custom select underscore type what are the column name that you want here you can mention year underscore month press ok so the new column has been there now uh, the old columns is also there okay year and month name so this is one of the way when you are uh, not technically uh, good with the uh, uh, writing query power query and everything okay now I will, we will see the uh, let's see the new another way as well so i am discarding the changes okay duplicate columns and duplicate columns i'm removing all these columns okay now right click on this add custom column here so i want to here just double click on this okay underscore so semi uh, colon underscore so i want to place right uh, for merge right and again underscore uh, sorry again underscore click on month name so this is how we need to merge two columns right what are the new column here year underscore month press ok see we got an error what is the error let's see that click on that error see 
we cannot apply and operator to the types number and text it means it is saying that you cannot merge which is having two different data types so for this click on here again back or our custom column okay here so for this i need to convert this year into as a text format so for this what i have we have another function call test dot from okay so open open bracket and close bracket okay so uh, i am converting that so you whatever that year it is there it has you can consider that as a text okay so test dot from uh, in that uh, bracket and i need to mention the year okay press okay see that uh, year got i mean what are the requirement that we have merge uh, two data types which is number and character so this is how you can uh, we, i mean you can merge with the formula i will give the month formula and everything okay just if, if you want to save the changes click here and close and apply or you can use apply as well okay so so this is how uh, you are going to merge two columns i hope you like that multiple ways that i have showed you please comment how it will be useful in your real life thank you bye